What's his avatar? Like a hypnotic specter or? I don't know. Arcanus? I, I think know. it's Arcanus, maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, uh, he mulliganed to six again. I think this is okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's definitely not great. If his deck is, if his hand is as slow as last game, I'll be fine. And if it's a little bit faster, I should still be fine. Why? And also, he just can't like keep any cards in his hand, so I guess that's good for me too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who knows what his card quality is like now? And also, mine just improved. Yeah. Man. He's on the play. Like, yeah. This poor guy can't catch a break. I know. Scorps. Or Scorps. Yeah, really. That's just unfortunate. Whoa-oh. No. Look at this guy. He's gonna pierce the hide of my crabs. That doesn't even make sense. It's gonna happen, though. I know it's gonna happen, but it doesn't make sense. There's no part of a crab for him to bite where his fangs will penetrate. What if he just drips venom on the crab until the crab comes out of his shell and then dies? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense and is not anything that would happen. I know from zoo books that hermit crabs would not come out of their shell, no matter how large, because there's water dripping on them for all they know. They love that. <laughs> they live in areas where there's just dripping all the time. And that makes them so happy, because it moistens them. Good for them. Yeah. Maybe you can forbid an alchemy for like a relevant card. That would be good. Yeah, it would be especially good. Eh. Murder of Crows is great. Yeah. It just is unfortunate that it wasn't like a burning vengeance, say. Also, I had to get rid of my swamp so I can never flash back the forbidden alchemy. Yeah. But maybe I won't need to. Also, hmm. that card is good. Yes, it is. Do I just play that now? What? Memory's Journey? Burning vengeance. Yeah, I actually think you do. And I can fly. I can shuffle those lands back into my deck. Do you want to? But like, I'm saying, I can play a land, Burning Vengeance, and kill one of his guys right now. No, I know. I'm just wondering, like, what you shuffle in. I think that's the play. Um, I think you shuffle back in Forbidden Alchemy, too. I think you shuffle in Forbidden Alchemy and... And Shimmering Grotto. Or Swamp. And Swamp. I think I shuffle all you three You really of those. want both lands back in there? You have a bunch of lands right now. Like, I think you'd leave one land. That's true, but who knows, like, what I'm gonna... Yeah. You know? I think that's just fine. Okay. Uh... Which, yeah, because, which like... Which thing do you think I kill? <laughs> the Gassoff Sh Shepherd. Because, like, if he tra he'd have to travel prep and flashback on the Ambush Viper in order for it to be... Like, out of Burning Vengeance oh, range. Just keep my graveyard here. <clears throat> That's great. And then next turn you can play a Giant Crow. Mm -hmm. And then you can just start hurting your Fortress Crabs towards certain Viper Doom. They don't care. They barely have brains, quite frankly. Okay. That's pretty big. Maybe you should just run out of Fortress Crab first. Because, like, Murder of Crows doesn't protect you from any damage. Yeah. But what if he plays, uh... Travel Prep Flashback? Travel Prep, yeah. Well, then, I mean... Then I just chomp here. 
No, I think you just take a boatload of damage and play Murder of Crows next turn and then start jumping. Yeah. But, like, that's the only card that he could have to mess up this block, really. I mean, I guess he could have Moment of Heroism, but do you think he's really gonna waste it on a Fortress Crab? Well, I mean... Why wouldn't he? Also, like, he could have... Spidery Grasp. That's another thing he could have. Oh, or he just doesn't want to attack me anymore because he got totally demoralized by this crab. <laughs> okay. Man, what a crab. Lucky. Oh, and now you want something to die. Well, or I can just discard it. <clears throat> yeah. One thing I was thinking is maybe I should just play Scab and then flashback Think Twice to kill this if he tries to travel prep. Yeah, I think that's good actually. Oh no. And also I have that song departure. Yeah, you're Some in good travel shape. Travel preps. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, it's happening. Okay. That seems fine. Yep. <laughs> Spread the wealth. Alright. And then, what, I kill this guy in response, right? I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You could kill either snake, really. I thought you yielded to that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what these things are that happen. <laughs> I see. Do you think I double block his viper? Um... Or do I just want two chumps? I... Th think you just want two chumps. He has one card in hand. Save yourself the damage, you're at 14, that's a little low. Like, I think that now you have the luxury of doing that, so you just might as well. Like, next turn you flashback oh, Silent yeah. Departure to just nullify yeah. all of his threats. And, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'm actually kind of surprised he did that. I don't know what he's trying to do. Well, I think that he's just feeling desperate because he just really has nothing else to do now, you know? Yeah. There's no way to play... M no. Oh, well. You're missing Murder of Crow triggers. It's not like that matters. But... Whatever. Yeah, that doesn't matter I'm surprised. At all. Well, I mean, I guess he couldn't... Like, I was thinking, I'm surprised that, like, he didn't just travel prep. <laughs> You're going crab aggro? Yeah. Aggro crab? It's like aggro crag. It's quite similar. <laughs> like, Mike O'Malley is just shouting at this crab. Three spiders, huh? That's a few spiders. Are you going to attack into them with your fortress crab? <laughs> You can just play a Stitch Drake to further demoralize him, or you could play a Murder of Crows to even more demoralize him. I could play a Heron and a Watchkeep, too. No. Why not? Because Heron just dies to spiders. Murder of Crows at least, like, has you loot every time you kill a spider. I think you should play Murder of Crows as soon as you can. Oh, okay. That's what That's I would fair. do. That's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> like, you can't block it with what's on the board. All you can do is chump. Yep. And, like, if he leaves mana up next turn, and you don't get a spell that you can flash back easily, then just, like, leave it back, and then start playing out, like, Heron and Stitch Drake and stuff like that, and let them run into whatever traps he has. What? What is he doing? I don't know. I think I just block all his guys and just don't care. I think you just block all his guys and just don't care, because he'd have to have two combat tricks. Oh, he's just sad. Yeah. Okay, sorry guy. You should just ditch a crab. The crabs aren't doing any favors. No. <clears throat> Not when he's going spider aggro. I forgot my graveyard was over here. My mistake. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's what he wanted. Oh. To gain five life. Well. Good for him. Yep, he did it.